ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ರಾಜ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟಿಕ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮೈ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ರಾಜ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟಿಕ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟಿಕ ಐ ಡಿ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಒರಾಕಲ್ ಯೂನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ದಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಮ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟಿಕ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೈ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಮೈ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ರಾಜ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆಟಿಕ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ for more interview questions or i call iacs or idms interview questions and also materials like power center unix oracle data warehouse informatica study materials we have lots of interview questions over here so you can see the interview questions you can read them so these are very useful and these are real time interview questions i have given here so please go through these interview questions and read them properly and get the job as soon as possible now today's our topic is how to load first and last records to the target by using iacs in iacs or idmc how to load first and last record to target that is what we are going to discuss this is my source for example in this source i have uh, nine records i want to send first record to target second record to the same target first and second to the target how to do that we'll see now okay for that log into iacs or idmc create a new mapping create a mapping once you create the mapping you give a name once you create a mapping you give a name called m underscore customers i am taking the customers as the source customers first last so this is how you need to create a map so then configure the source this is customers configure the source select your source connection select your source connection and select your source table select your source table so it may take some time please wait so customers this is my source and then target and then target my target is customers first and last something or i'll give just customer underscore first then i'll copy the same control c control v we got one more or what you can do is first configure it and then copy paste so i given custom underscore first click on target create go to target connection and select your target table select your target table that is customer first last so i am using the same target table two times i am creating two instances of the same target just copy and paste rename this target transformation as cust underscore last just a name but ultimately it this is also if you see the target table name customers first and last this name also customers first and last okay this is what i have done now the next one is so first take an expression take an expression in the expression in the expression create one variable put v underscore v underscore serial number integer and create one output port so make sure that it is a variable port otherwise it will not work v underscore serial number it's a variable port and create one output port o underscore serial number now what i am trying to do integer port what i am trying to do here is i am generating the sequence number for each for each record for each record i am trying to generate sequence numbers by using expression we can take sequence generator also but i am i want to do different method we already knows we already know about uh, how to generate the sequence numbers by using sequence generator but now for every record in source which are coming to expression i want to give serial numbers so in the expression what i will do i create one variable port one output port to the variable port i give v underscore serial number plus one so v underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number plus one when i give like this what will happen so v underscore serial number will start with one will start with one and plus one plus one plus one so it will give one to how many source you got that many records and then o underscore serial number output port as in the variable port so whatever there in v underscore serial number all will come to o underscore serial number. this is how you can generate the sequence numbers 
in expression without using a sequence operator. So this is efficient. Okay. Because the expression is not having any cache, this will act faster. Now, after expression, take a filter. After expression, take a filter. We need first record. So we got a serial number equal to the first record. So what I'll do in the filter, I will give advanced. So I'll go to advanced, define filter condition. O underscore serial number equal to one. When I give O underscore serial number equal to one, what will happen? It'll give first record to target. It will give first record to target. This is about first. So now come to target and uh, come to target, field mapping, smart map. So we have mapped it. We have mapped customer ID to credit limit. Yes. Next. For the second target, take an aggregator. Take an aggregator after source, connect it to aggregator. From source, connect it to aggregator. Aggregate it to target. In aggregator, in aggregator, do not create any group by fields. Do not create any group by ports. Okay, let it be like that. If you don't create any group by ports in aggregator, aggregator will give last record to the target. Now go to target, field mapping, and do the smart map. Save. When you save, mapping will become valid. Mapping become valid. So what the second flow will do? Aggregator, when you don't give any group by port in aggregator, aggregator will give last record so the same target, this last record will go to target. This last record will go to target. This is how you can pass first record and last record to target. So I hope you understood the mapping. Once the mapping is done, this is the map. So customers, first it will go, expression will give, expression will give, we'll, we have created serial number V underscore serial number, O underscore serial number. Expression will give serial number uh, V underscore serial number will give one to three fours, and whatever the end V underscore serial number it will come to output port. And in the filter we have given we have given O underscore serial number equal to one will load first target, first record, first record to target, and aggregator we are not giving any group of ports, so that it will give last record to target. Now, so now create a mapping task. Create a mapping task. Once the mapping is done, create a mapping task. So take this mapping, create a mapping task. So give the name MCT underscore. Give the name MCT underscore. Copy the mapping name properly. I copied the mapping name. Created a mapping task. MCT underscore and uh, select the runtime environment. And select the mapping. Select the mapping. Next. Next, finish. And in mapping, uh, give the truncate table option because for every target, you give the truncate table. That is based on your requirement. If any records in tar tar target, it will truncate and load. If any records in target, it will truncate and load. Save and run the mapping configuration task. Save this and run the mapping configuration task so that now go to monitor and check. It is loading. So as of now, if you see the source, this is our source. In our source, which is the first record, customer ID 177. And last record is customer ID. And last record is customer ID 174. So we should load, we should load. The mapping should load 177 and 174 to the target. Let's see the monitor. It is succeeded, two records loaded out of 319, two records loaded to target. Now check the target, please. Target is truncate and load. Check the target. If you see here, 177 customer ID, 174 customer ID. The first record is, first record in my table is 177. And last record in my table is 174 customer ID. Those two records loaded to target. I hope you understood the mapping. If anybody asks you in the interview how to load first record and last record to target, you can explain like this. I have connected to, I have logged into IDMC and, uh, and I, I created a mapping. I configured my source as customers table and I configured my target as customers underscore TGT first and last. And I copy pasted the same target twice so that we got same, we got two instances of the two instances 
of the same target. So at the first flow from source, I connected expression. In expression, I have created one variable port called v underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number plus one so that it will generate sequence number to every record in expression. I created one output port o underscore serial number o underscore serial number equal to v underscore serial number I have configured in expression. From expression, I have connected to filter. In filter, I have given a condition called o underscore serial number equal to one and connected to target so that it will load first record. From the same source, in the second pipeline, I have connected to aggregator. In aggregator, I have not given any group by port. I have not created any group by port and I connected to target. When I don't when I don't give any group by port in aggregator, aggregator will load last record to the target. When I run the mapping task, it will load first and last record to the same target. This is how I have implemented in the mapping. This is how we need to explain in the interview. You have to explain in a simple English and clear cut. That's it. So please go through the mapping again and do it. Please practice well. All the best, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. You understood my mapping. So please subscribe my channel, Raj Informatica YouTube channel. So you will be having many YouTube videos. And keep watching my, keep browsing my website for more interview questions, for more material, more useful things. You can keep on browsing my website. Thank you all.